Hey, what's up? This is Kyle with CalParish.net, bringing you another tutorial using Photoshop. Uh, what I'd like to start with is just to show you kind of the end result of what we're going to do here. We're going to just uh, pretty much erase this uh, lady and, and girl, and uh, that way we can bring this guy, drop him in with these people, tuck them in a little closer to the group, make them look like they were all there at the same time. Which these were. This guy was kind of left to himself. Uh, <laughs> anyways, i uh, got another tutorial that shows how to bring him in here and, and tuck him behind these people here, but what we're going to try to do is, is scoot these these people over a little, a little closer and kind of keep them all in kind of a tight little group. And... Uh, this will really help so go ahead and get rid of that layer first what we want to do since we have another picture here and we have some of this area that uh, is you know no one's standing in front of we're going to take in place right here over the front of these people so to get started I like using the lasso tool for that just to come over here and uh, get a little bit more than we need I'm going to go all the way down Go ahead and grab all of this like that. I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to go to the other uh, picture. I'm gonna hit paste. I'm going to move this over. Now, no doubt we're going to have to size this up and stuff, but I'm going to drop the opacity down maybe to about close to 50% opacity. That way I can see both layers and kind of helps me line them up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control T to make this uh, editable, and I'm going to size it up. Holding Shift, it it maintains the the, the proper aspect ratio. Otherwise, it it will stretch it out and really really make a mess. So I can use these I can use these bars here kind of for reference to get us pretty close. That's looking pretty close. Um, give that a shot just just for now what we can do is uh, hit enter to accept that turn the opacity back up to a hundred percent we I think we have our size pretty good we just need to kinda edit these we, we uh, could really use the warp tool on this would be probably great so if you go to edit transform warp this allows you to kinda reach in here and grab different points and edit them individually uh, sorry about that okay so we come up here and just grab one of these points just kinda line the bars up just get them close they don't have to be perfect just yet Kind of drag these down to help match these these rocks up a little bit here. Just working on that that plant here. That looks pretty pretty close. Let's fix the the handrail. Looks pretty close right there. Let's hit enter and see uh, see what it looks like. I think that's going to work out just perfect. Um, we need to adjust the uh, the color of it. The best way I like to do it is use curves. Leave it on the RGB channel. Grab here in the middle and just bring it up until it's almost just blends in almost by itself. Those rocks up there, are just about perfect. Let's try that. Hit OK. You can toggle this on and off and and see where it makes the change with that layer selected still we get the eraser tool set the hardness to zero get a kind of a large brush so it's a good soft edge maybe close to 350 or something like that and I can see if I hit control and then select that layer I can see my outline here 
I'm just gonna come along here and just just barely catch just the perimeter of this outline and I'm gonna stop right here if I continue to go I'm gonna start putting her face back in so I, I want to stop right there because this most of this here should be covered up okay I'm gonna hit control D to remove the selected area and we're in pretty good shape right there um, now you can come over here let's see turn that layer off what you want to do now is is grab the uh, quick selection tool go ahead and select the people here like so hit copy create a new layer hit paste now I can move them around If I turn my layer back on, the one, the one that we made, and then drop that layer in the middle, okay, go back to the layer that I just cut out of the people, actually scoot them in like so. You could actually put these people behind her. What you would, All you'd have to do is go back to the original layer, grab your selection tool, select her, like so that's a little rough but that'll do hit copy create a new layer hit paste now we have grab your remove tool now you have her hit undo to put her back where she goes we can put her in the on the very very top that brings her all the way to the front as far as the layers are concerned then you can take the cut out of these people slide them in something like so. Now you'd, you'd want to clean these edges up a little bit. I'm just showing you real quick because the other tutorial shows you how to cut them out uh, more properly. Come over here. Control D to remove those lines. Grab your quick selection tool. Size down the brush just a little bit. And I'm just going to just do a real rough just to try to keep the tutorial short. Just just rough uh, cut out here. Hit copy. Come Jump back over here hit paste now he's he's gonna go almost all the way to the bottom just in front of the uh, just in front of this layer here just on top of that so with him selected I'm gonna hit control T size him up that was a really crude uh, cut out so you'd, you'd want to obviously spend a little bit more time on that I'm just trying to show you just real quick you go to adjustments not exposures go to adjustments curves RGB channel bring his the lighting kinda lighten him up just a little bit to match him in with the other people just close you don't want to make him everybody with the exact same skin tone that's irregular so there you have it. You know, clean these edges up just a little bit, and uh, and there you go. That's 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 pretty that's pretty close. This little edge over here where we we brought our other layer on, we got kind of two different colors of the snow. So you may want to blend those in. Uh, I think it's this layer here. All you all you would have to do really is select this layer, grab your eraser tool zero hardness just come in here and kind of bam there it is you're good to go hope you uh, enjoy this tutorial hope you learned something see you next time